I, Jake, take you, Becky, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forwards, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part. According to God's holy law, in the presence of God, I make this vow. I, Becky, take you, Jake, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Once upon a time, a boy met a girl. She gave him her hand and he held it tight. Together they set off down the unknown path in front of them. Sometimes they walked slowly, sometimes at a quicker pace. Sometimes they ran so fast it felt kind of like flying. Whenever he lost his footing, she steadied him. And whenever she tripped, he helped her back up. Whenever she grew weary, he'd carry her. Becky, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. Of a sign as our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. The love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jake, I give you this ring. Jake, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Jake and Becky have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands, by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim they are husband and wife, those whom God has joined together. Let no one put asunder. <laughs> you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> and a round of applause, I guess.
And now it is customary, of course, for the best man to poke fun at the group, and I will do my very best. <laughs> However, I think any efforts to make fun of Jake on a day where he has the great honour of marrying a bride as beautiful as Becky uh, is really just pointless. And Becky, well, good luck. <laughs> So just a brief backstory, Becky and I first met through our maid of honour, Emily. Um, we stood in a field watching the fireworks at Alberton, um, and I saw at the time what I thought was the most striking woman stood there with her friends. I actually turned to my friends and uh, said that Becky's not the type of girl that I want to mess around, she's, she's the girl that I want to marry. And so after weeks of texting, talking, and dare I say flirting, <laughs> we decided that it was time that we went on our first official date. So skipping to a few years later, I thought up the romantic proposal. I mean, who could say no to a ring on a kitten's collar? <laughs> One of my favourite memories is of bedtime stories, of course, and our shared delight in A.A. A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh. Um, Becky, I would say, is Tigger. Now, if you know Winnie the Pooh, that will make sense. If you don't, it won't. But uh, Becky, I would say, is Tigger. Uh, and more often than not saying, I say, come on. <laughs> so to find Becky delightful does not surprise me, and I'm sure it doesn't surprise Jake, and neither does her growth into a most beautiful and caring young woman. And uh, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, Jake, I am very, very pleased to welcome you into the family. Um, you have great strengths of honesty and commitment to the truth. That speaks to me um, of your great worth because that's where it really matters, in your heart and in your mind. And so I am very um, pleased to welcome you into the family, but also pleased to entrust uh, my daughter into your love and into your care. So let's stand and raise our glasses to toast Jake and Becky. great team they support each other they bring out the best in each other but equally they will make it known if the other one is being a pain in the backside Jake <laughs> <laughs> but for anyone that knows Becky and Jake will know that they are truly perfect for each other Jake you will never know how thankful I am to you for making Becky so happy. 
I honestly couldn't have done a better job if I picked you out myself. <laughs> I want to thank you for completely accepting me into your life, for inviting me over and bringing me treats of wine and chocolate when I'm feeling sad, and for always letting me join us third wheel on date nights. <laughs> <laughs> Where on earth would I be without you? You're not just my best friend, you're part of me. You know me better than I've ever known myself. And you've been with me through the toughest and the happiest times of my life, right by me every step of the way. I treasure the memories that we've made over the last 13 years and I am so thankful that I found you, and I love you with all my heart. And watching you both today, I couldn't be more proud. And I'm so happy you found your lobster. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you a lifetime of happiness, laughter, and so many babies. <laughs> Becky is the most beautiful bride, and I'm truly a very lucky man. She's been, and I no doubt will continue to be, the one who supports me no matter what. She's the one who grounds me and brings me back to reality. And um, Becky, you're my absolute rock. And um, today, I'm the luckiest and happiest man in the world. I have such a smart, loving, and beautiful wife. So, ladies and gents, please be upstanding, and join me for my final toast to my wife, the most beautiful bride I could ask for, to Becky. Becky!